Along Suzhou Creek and Henan Road Bridge in Shanghai stands a gatehouse with a commemorative Roman arch. The roof is inscribed with Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce. The grand structure and the chamber's clubhouse has witnessed a turbulent history. Renovated, it's an eye-catching landmark by Suzhou Creek. Hello, I'm Michelle Chiao. Please explore the unique Shanghai with me. The original Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce was completed in 1916. Four years later, they built this grand gatehouse that mirrored a commemorative Roman arch. Two pairs of slender classical columns are decorated on the wall covered in plaster. The circular arch welcomes people into the world of the Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce. Let's walk through this keeper of time to take a look. After Shanghai opened port in 1843, business was booming and foreign chamber of commerce were founded to make regulations and mediate disputes. In 1902, under the advice of Qing's minister Shen Xuanhuai, the first chamber of commerce in China, the Shanghai Commercial Meeting Club, was born. After changes and reorganizations, in 1912, the Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce was officially founded. Powerful business leaders such as Zhu Baosan, Shen Lianfang, and Yu Qing were all heads of this organization. Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce was located at the Temple of the Queen of Heaven along Suzhou Creek. In 1916, the red building behind me was completed and designed by Atkinson and Dallas, a famous British architecture firm in old Shanghai. Atkinson and Dallas is one of the most important architectural firms in modern Shanghai. Atkinson and Dallas designed the red brick clubhouse in a neoclassical style. The building is divided into three sections horizontally and five sections vertically. The centerpiece is a giant stairway at the entrance. The facade, crafted with red bricks and cement stones, is graced by triangle gables, semicircular gables, vase-shaped balustrades, horizontal belts, and two floor-high pilasters. It's elegant and dazzling. Details of the interior reveal the likes of modern Shanghai merchants. They valued practicality as well as style. The building is designed with functionality in mind while being lavishly decorated. Take this grand staircase as an example. The building has seen the modernization of industries and development of the Chamber of Commerce. It has three floors with a garage and offices on the ground floor, the discussion hall on the second floor and offices on the third floor. The oversized balcony on the top floor provides a view of the Chinese garden and Suzhou Creek. The discussion hall on the second floor is the most important part of the building. It is two floors high and can house some 800 people. The beamless hall features a curved suspended ceiling and a cloister supported by huge brackets. An opening ceremony on March 18, 1916 was well attended by foreign and Chinese officials and businessmen. Vice Chairman Shen Lianfang called it a discussion hall intended to serve as a place where progressive problems of commerce could be explored. Well, it's certainly worthy of its name. The building of the discussion hall became the center of the city's commercial activities from its opening day. In an array of social campaigns and activities during the end of the Qing Dynasty and the beginning of the Republic of China, the Shanghai General Chamber of Commerce played an important role in political and diplomatic affairs, financial bailouts, safeguarding the interests of Chinese people, charity, and disaster relief. The Chamber organized China's domestic industrial products abroad to participate in the three world expositions in San Francisco and Panama in 1915, Philadelphia in 1926, and Paris in 1937. 
in 2011 as a protection development project of the Suzhou Creek area. The overseas Chinese Tang Group kicked off a seven-year-long restoration of the building and the gatehouse. The restoration team named Office for Urban Renewal restored the damaged gables and roofs according to a 3D model. They also revived the balconies that had been closed for years and repaired the large span curved ceiling and beautiful staircase. The mosaic floor featuring the discussion hall is hand polished in five colors: red, orange, blue, green, and white to form a datura pattern with rich texture and natural lines. Due to the settlement of the foundation, cracks appear in the center of the mosaic. It took the team nearly a month to repair the datura flower according to original patterns and textures. Amnoida site formerly used to exhibit products that were made in China. By luck alone, the restoration team happened upon the original red brick walls that had been covered in plaster. Now both textures of two historical periods are displayed here. Today. The red brick building, which blends well with the newly built red towers, is used as a banquet hall of a stylish hotel. The Suzhou Creek area, where the building stands, is becoming a world-class waterfront business district. Through Suzhou Creek tourism, the gatehouse has become an eye-catching landmark. It is imposing. Like the commercial and industrial spirit of Suzhou Creek decades ago, I'm Michelle Tiao. Join me in exploring the unique Shanghai.